Your monthly subscription box from PostFlyBox.com includes all the materials needed to tie a dozen flies, along with some extra goodies. The Big Head Streamer is a versatile and incredibly durable saltwater pattern. It can be tied in a variety of colors to imitate many different bait fish. Begin by getting one of the extra strong forged hooks firmly secured in the jaws of your tying vise. Then, to add some weight to the fly, pick up the solder wire. Grip one end in the fingertips of your left hand as you take touching wraps forward up the hook shank with your right. Make 8 to 10 wraps before helicoptering the wire in your right hand to break it off close. You can then tuck in the remaining tail with your left. Load a bobbin with a spool of white unithread and get it started on the hook shank behind the eye. Take a few wraps rearward before snipping off the excess tag. You can then slide the wire wraps up to the thread and take wraps over top of them to secure the wire to the hook shank. Heavy monofilament fishing line is used to help prevent the wing of the fly from fouling in the hook bend. Snip off a two and a half inch length. But one end of it against the wire wraps and take thread wraps to secure it to the top of the hook shank. Bring the other end of the mono around to form a flat loop that extends out over the hook bend and take wraps of tying thread to bind that end to the top of the hook shank behind the wire wraps. Continue taking thread wraps rearward with your tying thread to secure both legs of the loop to the top of the shank, all the way back to the start of the hook bend. Then, advance your tying thread forward in open spiral wraps to immediately in front of the wire wraps. Pearl colored braid is used to create the body of the fly. Cut a five or six inch length free from the rest. Secure one end of the braid to the top of the hook shank at the location of your tying thread. Continue binding it to the shank all the way back to the start of the bend. Then, advance your thread to on top of the wire wraps. Pull the braid first underneath the mono loop, then around the hook and over top of the mono. Keep taking touching wraps forward with the braid to build up a nice, even, shiny body on the fly. When you reach your tying thread, use it to anchor the braid and snip the excess off close. Fine Flashaboo adds lifelike shimmer and movement to the pattern. Snip five or so strands free from the hank, then locate their approximate midpoint. Secure the midpoint to the hook at the location of your tying thread, then pull the forward pointing portion of the material back to both secure and double the amount of flash. Make sure the slippery material is bound down really well. Snip a small clump of white faux bucktail, about two dozen fibers free from the hank. Hold the material so its tips extend just past the ends of the flashaboo. While keeping this measurement, snip the butt ends off at the back edge of the hook eye then take tight wraps of tying thread to bind them down to the top of the shank. This material is also very slippery, so make sure it's bound down well, all the way back to the start of the braid body. Now, snip about the same amount of blue faux bucktail free from the hank, then measure, trim, and tie in the material as you did before. The fly should now look something like this. Crystal Flash adds another layer of shimmer and attraction to the pattern. Snip just four or five strands free from the hank and find their midpoint. Secure one side of the flash to the near side of the hook with wraps of tying thread, then pull the forward pointing portion over to the far side of the hook and secure it there. The idea is to have crystal flash running down either side of the fly. Take a few more wraps of tying thread to smooth everything out. The crystal flash should end up being about as long as the flashaboo. Purple Flashaboo really takes the look of this fly to the next level. Snip 8 to 10 strands free from the hank and lay them over top of the blue faux bucktail so the tips extend all the way to the tips of the bucktail. Take wraps of tying thread to bind the purple flash to the top of the hook shank, then reach in with your tying scissors and snip it off even with the back edge of the hook eye. Take thread wraps to fill in any low spots between the back of the hook eye and the braid body of the fly. As a final accent, snip four or five strands of olive ostrich free from the stem and with their tips extending as far back as possible, secure the butt ends to the top of the fly. It's amazing how just a little bit of dark olive brings everything together. 
Keep taking wraps of tying thread to build up a completely white head on the fly that's nice and smooth. The smoother you can get this area, the better. It's really worth some extra time and a few more turns of tying thread to get it right. When you're satisfied with the shape, reach for your whip finish tool and use it to do a four or five turn whip finish at the back edge of the hook eye. Then seat the knot well and snip your tying thread free. Although not entirely necessary, a small amount of super glue applied to the thread wraps on the near side of the hook will help the stick on 3D eyes to stick even better. Using your bodkin or a hobby knife, retrieve one of the eyes from the sheet. Place the eye on top of the adhesive and hold it there with pressure until the adhesive sets, trying not to glue yourself to the fly in the process. Repeat the glue and stick procedure to secure a second eye in the same location on the far side of the hook. Squeeze a small amount of UV cure resin onto a scrap piece of paper, here a sticky pad. Then use your bodkin to pick up just a bit. Make a small bridge with the resin between the two eyes on the top of the fly, then give the resin a healthy shot of UV light to cure it. The idea is to get the eyes more firmly affixed to the fly. You can then flip the fly over and repeat the process on the underside of the fly to firmly anchor the bottom edges of the eyes. After an ample bath of UV light, both eyes should be permanently affixed to the fly. Go back and pick up some more resin and fill in the entire head of the fly around the eyes. Try to get all the thread wraps coated with resin. Then give everything a good bath of UV light. And that's the big head streamer. Long, slender, flashy, and ready to fish. Mm -hmm.